हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ श्वेता गांधी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी वी आर बैक विद द न्यू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ द सेमेस्टर फाइव एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज फार्माकोग्नोसी एंड फाइटोकेमिस्ट्री टू इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड फॉर द इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फाइटो कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट इन रिलेशन टू द दैट टॉपिक द अनादर टॉपिक इज आइसोलेशन आइडेंटिफिकेशन and analysis of phyto constituent this is your unit 3 the same as industrial production only the difference is that in that the industrial production so we have to emphasis on the industrial production means extraction technologies and estimation and utilization estimation means what are the methods that can be used for the estimation of the phyto constituents and for the quantification of the phyto constituent and utilization means the uses and the pharmacological uses here in this chapter that is isolation identification and analysis of phyto constituents will study about the different categories of the secondary metabolites and the drugs belong to that categories the first category is the terpenoids in the terpenoids first we will study about the introduction to terpenoid as you have studied the terpenoids glycoside in detail in other chapters so here as far as the drug is concerned we will give the emphasis on the drug but in little i will explain you about the terpenoid or the category of the drug so first is the terpenoid terpenoid means volatile oil so it includes menthol citral and artemisin this artemisin is also in their industrial production second is the glycoside category the glycoside category include two drugs that is glycyrrhizinic acid and rutin and the third category is the alkaloid the alkaloid category includes atropine quinine reserpine and caffeine these are the four drugs to be included in that alkaloidal category next is the resins the resins include again the two drugs podophyllotoxin and curcumin so let's start with our first category terpenoids what the terpenoid is meaning as you all know we have studied in our key lectures that what are terpenoids terpenoids are the hydrocarbons and they have the unit c5h8 called as isoprene units these terpenoids are colorless in nature soluble in organic solvents and their limits as given in the pharmacopias also as their boiling point is 150 to 180 degree centigrade this is the important classification for the terpenoid the carbon atom increases as the class changes for example different types of terpenoids include isoprene monoterpene cisquiterpene di as the name suggests diterpenes cisquiterpenes triterpene tetraterpenes and the poloterpene so here the value of n means 1 2 3 4 5 6 it denotes and the number of atom as carbon atom in the molecular formula this are the class of the terpenoids and the example for example if we take any one example diterpenes the example for the diterpene is the caffeol the monoterpene eucalyptol is a good example menthol is the good example of the category monoterpene now the detection test which is common for the terpenoid is the swalesky test in which a reddish brown coloration is obtained at the interface for the presence of the terpenoids next the terpenoid includes the first drug that is mean the biological source it is obtained from the steam distillation of the mentha pipeta here we no need to emphasize on the process of the steam distillation only you should know about the biological source and the family now comes the drug menthol what is menthol and from where it is obtained the major difference difference for the menthol are two categories black peppermint and the white peppermint and the sources for both the drug are different black obtained from the mentha pepperita and white obtained from the mentha arvense and the chemical constituent which are obtained from the menthol majorly are the neomenthol isomenthol menthon and mentho furon you should know about the structure of the menthol too methyl group is attached as you can see in the menthol now the properties of the menthol are the appearance taste odor rotation and the major is the solubility because the isolation is depends majorly on the solubility storage as you all know they are the terpenoid they are the volatile oil they evaporate at the room temperature so they should be preserved in the tight container at the room temperature now comes to the isolation part what's the isolation says isolation for the menthol oil the major process 
process that can be used for the isolation is the hydro distillation hydro distillation can be used for the isolation of the menthol for the steam distillation of menthol this is the assembly for the steam distillation of the menthol where the aromatic plants water heat evaporators and the different uh, equipments are used for the steam distillation of the menthol now comes to the identification test identification nitric acid test can be used for the menthol now identification and analysis for the identification and analysis you we can use the tlc that is thin layer chromatography for that you should know about the sample preparation stationary phases mobile phases the detecting reagents like vanillin sulfuric acid the rf to be calculated as you all know how to calculate the rf we have done in the our tlc portions next drug is the citral citral is obtained from the oils of the lemongrass that is symbopogon cypretus now this is how the citral can be achieved by the help of steam distillation lemongrass lemongrass is the source for the citral oil family is graminea again the extraction and isolation methods the identification specific tlc methods how to prepare the sample how to isolate the citral with the help of steam distillation if any name test identification test should be maintained and analysis can be done easily nowadays with the modern techniques like gc gas chromatography we one thing to remember is that using flame ionization detector this is how the citral oil looks now next drug is the artemisin which is obtained from the artemisia anva and it is an anti malarial drug the same way we don't have to emphasize on the extraction but we have to emphasize on the isolation technique of the artemisin here different kind of solvents are used the key solvents used are the menthol and the hexanes next is the identification test which can be used for the menthol and the different methods the next category of the drug is glycosides the glycoside what are the glycosides they are the natural substance that contain the carbohydrate with the glycosidic part of the molecule the physical properties of the glycoside the rules of the glycoside and then comes the classification of the glycoside the classification is mainly based on the linkage o c s and a where the oxygen is attached that is o carbon is attached sulfur is attached and the nitrogen is attached and the drug this is the chemical classification of the glycoside which include anthraquinone estriol cyanogenetic flavonoid taumarin aldehyde and different types of glycoside the name test used for the glycoside are the lieberman test and bond prager test now the drugs that comes under the category of the glycoside is the glyceriza glabda the one drug next is the chemical constituent in product glycerin the three method for the isolation you need to remember the acid precipitating alcohol extraction and the ammonia extraction method these are the different methods for the isolation of the glycoside and these are the estimation methods like hptlc hplc uv colorimetric and tlc methods can be used for the estimation of the glycoside now next is the rutin rutin is the drug which is a bioflavonoid the same way you have to study for the rutin the name test the isolation procedure the estimation procedure like tlc paper chromatography and the last category is the alkaloid alkaloid means alkali like they are the heterocyclic nitrogenous compounds and the basicity and nitrogen portion of the heterocyclic ring is the main in the alkaloid this is the distribution of plant in the alkaloid and the classification are the different types of alkaloid like true alkaloid proto alkaloids and the pseudo alkaloid the same way for the alkaloid we can go for the physical properties chemical properties different structures the identification test for the alkaloid are dragonruff mayers hagers and wagners so quinine is the drug the same way we have to go for the isolation of the quinine identification test of the quinine different estimation methods of the quinine and the there are two methods you can adapt any one method the identification test is the vitelli morphin test and the tlc methods sample preparations gc and mc methods all should be known next category is the rolfia category the same we have to follow the same identification test tlc profile for the caffeine also we have to follow the isolations then for the analysis 
and curcumin also we have to follow the isolation methods the resin in resin also curcumin we have to follow the same for the curcumin the identification test and the procedures podophyllotoxin also the identifications and this so in the same way we have to follow the isolation procedure for each and every drug thank you